Hey guys, okay. So I will say when having this heart monitor on, the stickers itch like crazy. Yesterday, only this side was itching. Today, it's this side underneath the sticker is itching like crazy and I wanna scratch and I wanna rip the sticker off, but no, because I'm gonna be changing my stickers later tonight to prepare for day number three. And I have four weeks. I think this first week is going to be the ultimate test of like, what the fuck to do to deal with it. I did put a video out this morning. I was super, super happy with the wire placements today and how I threaded it under my bra so that my bra held the wires away from me and I wasn't like having this dangling pouch or having like this clump up of wires like coming out of my bra. Um, I just have, you know, two wires coming out and my little necklace. And then of course we see my headphone wire. But other than that, it's normal looking, I think. But um, my psych doctor who came in today to see me at home, he, made a comment right away oh you're on a portable heart monitor and I was like yeah I saw the cardiologist last week so um, it is interesting it is also interesting that uh, I finally figured out like with the placement of these I have figured out where I can wear my braces uh, my back brace especially um, it wraps around my waist and sometimes goes <clears throat> sometimes goes up on my rib a little bit and then it pulls like a corset and wraps around me so I was a little concerned about that but my machine did not beep at me I didn't have like a phone call ring from my sensor pack so I'm good my sensor is still like I had the volume on low but I haven't heard it make any noise since I did battery changes and my other pouch that I carry on my hip that I use for um, symptom regulations and explaining what symptoms were, um, that hasn't rang or anything like that telling me something's wrong. So I guess I'm pretty okay. Um, I did, however, have a slight problem with my upper back brace. Um, it wraps around my front like a backpack and then my back it has the little strip down that one seemed to be hurting a bit more I think because most of the time I'm like curled inward and my shoulders are rolled forward to kind of hide how big I am because of my weight issue and the brace was forcing me to roll my arms back and because I was rolling my arms back and my chest was sticking up a little bit higher, it kind of hurt. Um, I've been trying to talk to doctors about that and I just get basically, oh, your x-rays are normal. And it's like, uh, no duh, you had me laying on a table for the x-rays to be taken. So hopefully, fingers crossed that this month long test shows something, anything that can be done to show what's happening with me and how I feel. Um, I have been lightheaded every once in a while and I will mark that in my little pouch on the, uh, the machine. And it kind of almost makes me feel better that I can now have documentation of what's happening. I mean, everybody knows that with ehlers downlos if it's not a long test, like a month, um, you can't really see anything. So having a long testing can show a lot more than a quick EKG at a hospital can because most of the time when I'm going in there, it's like, I don't have a heart issue, but you're checking me out because of this, that, and the third, and it's like, what do I do? So that is what's going on. This is day two. 
of me wearing this and day three will be tomorrow. I think I'm going to try and link this video with other short vlogs that I'm doing as well just to kind of keep it all together in one spot for probably like the first week is what I'm going to do and then I can string them together to make a video to be able to show you what it's like to be on a heart monitor for at least a week. So, all right. Bye. Hey guys. Okay, so I just got back from going out to Rite Aid to get my pain gel and to get the rest of my antitryptyline. And I got stuff to make for Breeze so that I can make more than just one bottle and have it to clean up stuff. So, and my heart monitor is doing pretty good. The rash that I had has gone away from the steroid cream I put on last night. So I'm happy with that. Um, I did have to put in a symptom today and I had a weird one last night too that I put in. Um, today it first started off with me getting out of the wheelchair to come up here back to the apartment and I got really lightheaded. Then, um, after I got up here and I had to stop climbing steps and my heart was still going, my left arm went numb. So at least they have that marked on the thing. So hopefully they figure out something because the last time my arm went numb, it was my right arm. And that's when I had to put on, that's when I had to go for all that drama with getting the elbow brace. So hopefully everything will be good. And, uh, I can try and get some cleaning done. Yay! So I'm having a positive day being out and about early in the morning. I love going outside. Jesse unfortunately doesn't because he has to push the wheelchair and since I don't have the wheelchair extension handlebars yet, it's hard. That and I need to find wheelie bars because he has stubbed his foot and broken several shoes stepping on that back rod that sticks out of my wheelchair, the two of them. He uses that to push down to get me up when we get stuck in a root. So it can be difficult at times. But, you know, I, I live with what I have. And I'm trying to do the best that I can. So hopefully at some point in time I will be able to get those extension handlebars. And I'm trying to get the glass frames off of Amazon that I really, really like that have the built-in sunglasses. So that when I do get my eyes straightened out at Will's Eye Hospital in October, I'll be able to see again nicely. And hopefully, fingers crossed, that I don't require surgery at this time for my eyes. So I did leave this one, like I said last night, in the same spot. I didn't remove this one. And I didn't remove the one off of my rib here because they just fit so perfectly. And I was able to change out to my day glow, and then I have my tie shirt on. So my pouch is sitting right there and I'm just super happy. I felt really good going out this morning. Felt a little bit bad coming back in, but there's cleaning to be done and I'm the one to do it. So, okay, have a good day guys. And remember this is day three, officially, like sunrise of day three. This is barefully Let's see. Oh, darn it. I can't see the time. Okay, it's almost 11 o'clock in the morning on day three. So that's what it is for this one. I'll be linking these together, hopefully. Hopefully I can do it right because I got new software on my phone to be able to do it. So bye, guys. Hi, guys. I got to make this quick because my voice is going and today's going to be a bad swallow day. I can tell because my allergies are acting up. Um, today is the fourth day yeah the fourth day on uh having the heart monitor um i did post a video today about friends because i literally have not seen any of my friends in two years um none of my friends have come to my house and everything so i did make a post about that in a youtube video so but um other than that stuff happening to me uh the stuff with the heart monitor is good and i've gotten used to it a little bit today i'm probably going to 
see if I feel up to taking a shower and see if I'm well enough to be able to do that. So that'll be good. Uh, please do not judge me about how I wait several days to take a shower, please, because when you're chronically ill like I am, taking a shower literally takes a whole day's effort to do. So don't knock on me for that. So I'm going to go do that later on today and everything. But I got to go and rest my voice because my throat is already getting tight. And I didn't eat anything funny or anything like that. I haven't eaten yet today. So Lord only knows if I'll be able to swallow something today. So keep me in your prayers. Bye. Hi guys. Okay. Yeah, the lighting sucks in here. But anyhow, um, last night when I finally had a friend over for the first time in two years, um, I was looking through my heart monitor box to show them the all all the cool little nifty things and we discovered that there is different stickies in the box I'm super excited tonight when I do my dressing when I do my change of my leads I'm going to be using the new stickies which are completely round they're listed as EKG stickers um, they come in a different pack this pack came uh, as you guys seen it's the silver pack this pack is actually a white pack that was in the back of the um, the little opening on the top of it. I didn't reach back there before because I just put the shipping label back there and I was like, yeah, no big deal. The shipping bag and everything. But when I discovered what was really there, I was shocked. So I am super stoked to try the new leads today. Um, I'm probably going to finally get my shower today since I didn't get one yesterday um, with finally having a friend over. I just, you know, they buzzed me and I was like, yes, I, it, you can come over anytime. So uh, my friend stayed until midnight, maybe a little bit past. And my husband and I were talking and chilling out with them and we were laughing so much. It's not even funny. And I felt so great having a guest over that you know my wheelchair didn't become an issue when we went on our little road trip as we called it to go pokemon hunting and it wasn't an issue it was rather funny though how both of us stopped to get a pokey stop and we forgot that i was in the wheelchair to the point where i almost rolled into a river <laughs> so it was just it was hilarious because my wheelchair was not an issue and and everything else which was great so I had a lot of fun hanging out with my friend um, and it was funny because I had finally put up that Facebook post about how if I don't open my mouth and say something nobody else is gonna know and I you know I did make a YouTube video about the fact that yes I'm very lonely um, I did have one friend think it was kind of awkward to come hang out with me because they were my friend before um, Corey died nine years ago and they didn't realize that that part of my life I have completely left in the past and I'm not angry or bitter towards anybody or anything about that time of my life and so it's possible that I might be having another guest at some point in time come over it was so funny. I I mean, I know that my heart monitor did like some weird stuff last night because when I finally realized I was actually having a house guest, I scurried around <laughs> as quick as I could to make the bed, spray it down with fabric softener cleaner that I made. And I was actually thinking we were going to do my eBay boxes, but ended up, we started talking and then Pokemon came into effect. And because I'm right around the corner from, uh, one, two, three, four, four Poke gyms and 15 different stops, I think in total, I'm right near. And so that became the adventure. And I totally just geeked out with my friend, which was absolutely great. I am so thrilled. Um, and hopefully uh, next time I make a video or a vlog about what's going on and I tell you guys about the new leads tonight, 
I'm going to have better lighting. So that'll be the plan. All right. See you guys in a few seconds, your time, but hours mine. All right. Bye. Hey guys. Okay. So, um, I did change out these leads to the bigger ones last night and I totally forgot to film, uh, what was going on because there was so much stuff happening. So, um, I will show you guys the difference between these uh, sticky tabs and the other ones when I do my next lead change, which will not be tonight. I'll actually be doing a lead change to, uh, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Because these are um, able to last a little bit longer, from what I'm told. But if I feel that they need to be changed tonight, I will change them tonight. Um, I'm also waiting for my doctor to come over to the house to do a DNA swab to be able to start letting me know what type of medicines they can prescribe for any mental health or depression and things like that that I have going on. Um, still cannot see very well. I'm still using uh, the readers. Um, I could see like maybe this far away from my hand, like my face. So it does get to be difficult at times. Um, oh, <clears throat> I did do something really funny. So since I've been like into the yellow and black, <clears throat> I decided that I was going to take some nail polish to my brace. It does, it looks a little messed up right now. I just need to uh, clean it up a bit and uh, do a little bit of light sanding with my buffing block and smooth that out and then I will clear cap it <coughs> and it'll look a lot better because honestly right now I just I didn't feel right with the gold I'd never really had that gold one settle with me too well at all um, so it was it, it needed to be changed and I I don't particularly like yellow, but Jesse has a thing about day glow, hence the fact exercise gear is day glow. Um, I also am trying to find um, day glow green, but with everything going on this day and age, with everybody being obsessed with marijuana, um, usually that color green is kind of hijacked by smokers. Um, so generally I can't find it in my town and all this other stuff. I did find some of that oil um, that somebody was saying to use. Um, I didn't put it on my public wish list because of um, family. Let's just put it that way. Because of family and I figured I was going to have it get sent to me in kind of like secret. Um, but I figured I would let you guys know honestly because it's not like they watch my blogs. Okay. They, they don't. So, um, I am going to be getting that oil. It does not have any THC in it whatsoever. So because of that, it's A-OK -okay with me. If anything has the THC in it and all that other stuff, I just, I stay clear of it. And a lot of it is honestly because of personal experience. It's not me being judgmental or anything like that. I've had some rather harsh realities. I've had people accuse me of things for like the wrong reasons. And I was accused by other family members that I would must be on drugs and an alcoholic and all this stuff and everything. And no, sorry, you're wrong. Didn't happen. Okay. I was I am and never was anywhere close to an alcoholic. Um, 
I did have a few parties in my day when I was like in my 20s, yes. I had babysitters for my kids or my kids were not home and they were visiting, you know, their grandma and umpa when I had parties and hung out with people. But I never, 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 never let my partying or should I say my wants to go over the needs of my children never once that's how come when I did give up two of my kids I gave them up without a fight because I realized I couldn't do it because of my mental stuff at the time and it a lot of it honestly was I was on the wrong medicines when you're on the wrong medicines and you have a problem Things don't work out, whether it be physical stuff and being on the wrong medicines or mental stuff and being on the wrong medicines. And that, that they both rival each other in severity. Okay. I'm not saying one is worse than the other one at all. There's a lot that goes on that is a guessing game for doctors. It really is because when there is an unknown factor, whether it's unknown what's happening inside your head or unknown about what's happening in your body, they take an educated guess. And it's true. They do. It's all right. So, all right. Well, I'm going to end this short little video. I'm going to be attaching this in the long strain of my week's worth of heart monitoring. Um, I am doing this, uh, I'm having the heart monitor for a whole month, but this week I'm linking a whole bunch of the videos together and doing them at the end and sh editing them at the end of the week and putting them on YouTube. Um, I'm doing that just basically because it'd be easier said than done to <laughs> just put up one long video of everything versus several of my little ones. Um, and I don't vlog like several times a day normally. So it should all work out. All right. Well, I'm waiting for my doctor and I will see you guys in a bit. Bye. Hey guys, it's me Dawn. Um, so I I have to change my leads a little bit early like a whole day and a half early let me turn this off okay you're off all right so what ended up happening is I was in the middle of doing some dishes and I discovered that my lead started coming off I actually placed an Instagram photo and I saw that it was a little lifted so needless to say I think this one's still attached good as far as I know. I don't feel like taking off everything. Oh yeah, that's underneath my bra. That's good. Okay, so this white one right here was coming off. So I wanted to show you the difference in material for it as well. Okay, so you see this? It's not a smooth gel. It, oh, it kind of feels slimy where it was at. It's kind of weird. So you see that? It reminds me of the inside of a baby's diaper type of gel. It's really, really liquidy. Um, almost feels like a sponge full of gel, honestly. That's what it probably is, probably. I think it's some sort of sponge. So it was coming off, so I'm going to definitely have to do a lead change. So I turned the power off on my device, okay? And... Since my battery seems to be running low too, oh, I'm getting yelled at by this thing again. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. All right, take battery out. Okay, so I'm doing this like well before it's time because these ones with this, it definitely, that is just definitely different from what I had. Um, and my skin feels like really, uh, 
moist, I think. Yeah, moist is the correct term for how my skin feels right now. And that is not exactly the best feeling. So um, I haven't had any lifting on the left one right here. So that's good. Sorry, my pack's in the way. I haven't had any lifting on this one. I think a lot of it's because my bra's holding it. And then the other part is that this is the arm I use most, hence the fact my robot arm. So I'm gonna do these, this lead for the left, for the right side. So I'm gonna show you real quick before I stick it on. Okay, you see that? It's a nice gel. It's a solid gel disc. Okay, so the problem I was having was with the adhesive. So in all honesty, I don't know what is going to be... Alright, I think this is probably the best placement. Okay. So, the other thing I'm finding is some of the directions say to attach the lead before you put it on the skin. Honestly, if I attached this to the lead, I would be, like, stuck to it <laughs> with my fingers. So, I'm leaving it like it is, trying to make sure I don't get tangled in my headphones as I'm doing this. All right, so I'm gonna attach this. Ugh. All right. Okay, and then I'm gonna do battery. So I'm putting the battery in properly. It gives me a tone, tells me it's done. And then I turn back on my device. So Basically, in a nutshell, that is one of the quickest lead changes I've done, and that was because I was literally in the middle of doing dishes. But <clears throat> you can even see it through the case of these ones. See, it's a nice, soft disc of gel, and this seems more like a cluster or a sponge that has fluid in it. Um, this kit also says that everything in here is completely latex-free, you know, so... My husband could touch it, uh, basically, because he has an allergy to latex. So, all right. Well, I will talk to you guys later. Um, hopefully, you guys can see the difference between the two different types of leads. And with my need to have an emergency switch, <laughs> emergency change lead back to the other one, uh, I think I can pretty much say that, yes, this does have comfort aspects, but it does not have durability for my skin. So, all right, see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, okay, sorry about the lighting, but today is the last day of the week for my first week with a heart monitor. So, I'm actually getting ready to go to a car show. So, I am going to be wearing my mask, obviously. And I've got like my hat on so everything looks super dark because the sunlight is not working correctly. <sighs> well, needless to say, I have discovered in this week that some sticky tabs for this, like this one, some work and some don't. Um, the other tabs that I saw that I thought were gonna be great and not give me a rash well they didn't give me a rash but I ended up with sticky gooey gel substance all over me <laughs> because they moved and slid on that gel that was so saturated in that sponge that uh, the sticky stuff on it didn't have a chance I actually lost one of them at one point in time in my bra uh, because it was for my rib one that I have here. Right there. I have it kind of sticking out today because I'm wearing a cut shirt that I made. But, um, yeah, I end up losing the one in my bra. So, the one up here, I fell off while I was doing dishes. The one over here fell off next. And then the third one was lost in my bra and my monitor actually only beeped <laughs> for the upper two it didn't beep for the lower one so i thought the lower one was good for the entire day <laughs> and here it is it wasn't it was just sliding around but i didn't get a notification so i'm not sure if the monitor 
monitors all the time or just when I have symptoms. So that's an interesting question to bring up uh, with what's happening with me. But who knows right now? All I know is that I have been through a lot this week in adjusting to having a heart monitor. And it's been a crazy adventure. And I'm sure that the rest of this month will be just as adventurous at times. Um, if not more so, because this is going to be my first official outing with public people involved. Not my late night <laughs> rides to the park to go Pokemon hunting because my friends take because my friend was taking me there and midnight conversations with them in my house. So it's not going to be one of those late night days. It's going to be a interesting prospect of being outside in public with a car show going on and being surrounded by people with me wearing my mask and having the heart monitor on. So needless to say, I think my heart monitor might buzz just a little bit if something goes wrong. Uh, but it doesn't actually send me an alert like that. Um, it only sends me an alert when I do something wrong. <laughs> so go figure, you know, let's give a piece of medical equipment that just says, nope, you're doing it wrong. Nope, you're doing it wrong. Hey, anything to improve my self-esteem, right? Uh, so that is what is going on. My week, my first week is done. I'm super excited. I'm so happy. And I'm glad that I could actually share this stuff with you guys on YouTube. And I hope that this video actually helps somebody else. You know, don't ever be afraid when you have a medical issue happening and you've got to wear equipment. Like, even if it's just for like, not only heart monitors, but like other things. Um, a big one that I see in the Ellers Downless community is the feeding tubes. And everyone being so upset about having a feeding tube and wanting to switch to that Mickey button. And I'm, I'm sorry, I do have swallowing issues. Um, I am more afraid to have a surgery done on my stomach to help me get nutrition than I am with having a feeding tube. Um, I've seen a lot of people be embarrassed and I've also seen a lot of people just strive and be happy with having just the tube. Um, so I, I hope that nobody ever feels embarrassed about the things that they have to do. I know that that's a big wish to have for other people to not be embarrassed, but that is my wish for everybody who has any type of chronic illness, not just Ellers downloads or have a heart problem like POTS or anything else. Like, I just wish that they would not feel ashamed. So that is the end of my week. Um, I will be linking the videos together as you see and right before you get to this one, my success on that. Um, hopefully it turns out okay. So if you like the video and videos like this where I do a week long set uh, in one video, hit the like button below. Let me know. Um, I'm still learning how to do the whole comments thing. I'm not too sure I know how to do that correctly. So if you do leave a comment, um, I will do my best <laughs> to attempt to read it. Um, I'm still working on that, so it's okay. You know, I will definitely try to read the comments. Um, I've also had a lot of people tell me to follow them on Instagram in my comments. Um, and I do apologize, but if you have to link somebody's 
your own Instagram thing on somebody else's video, uh, doesn't that kind of mean that you're, like, trolling? I mean, if you're that desperate for people to like your Instagram, why don't you put something that people like on it, in all honesty? Uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, what do I do? Um, so as the lighting changes and I almost end up in complete darkness again, I will let you go. Bye guys. Be kind to one another. Do not be ashamed of being sick and remember that people care whether you get to see them in real life or just through YouTube. People care about you.